So that's it right there. So welcome back to another episode of We Rebuild. We have a lot of stuff going on. We have to put the change the oil, change the air filter, put windshield wiper, wash the fluid in the bottle, and put some parts on, take some parts off, and then just get everything going. Let's go. We'll take the hood off. In order to take the re reinforcement bar off, we have to take the hood off first. So let's hop into it. Take this off, clip this, pull this out. That's how you get. Now you're just gonna pull the wire out. The wire is completely out. Next day, so today we have a lot of stuff going on. We got the hood for the car, we got the reinforcement bar, we got the headlight, we got the bumper. So we're gonna just put all these parts together. old reinforcement bar you can see the dent over here so we got that off let's put the one that we got from the junkyard in we got two bolts to put in right here the four bolts right there four over here and the two right here and that's it for the reinforcement bar fedex truck just got here time to put the new reinforcement bar on I'm about to change the oil and the oil filter on the car. Let's get to it. Yeah, so we're gonna change the oil filter. This is it right here. And then to drain the oil, this is it right here. You could use 19 mm or a three fourths to pull it. So let's go. So that's it right there. This oil is dirty, but we're gonna put some fresh oil in it. So you can use an Allen key to push this orange piece in. And then it's pretty messy from here, but you just use the Allen key to push, push it in and drain some of the oil out. And then we're gonna take off the oil filter housing and change the oil filter also. So now I'm taking off the filter housing. So I just had to use this tool to pull it. 
You have others, what makes it easier too. And that's it right there. The filter is off. So this is so this is what the old one looks like. Here's the new one. Ready to be installed. So now you go remove the old ring from the housing. So there's a little piece. So there's a little piece. This you going to look for it so you can pull up the old ring. See? Now this is the old one, so this is trash. And then we're gonna install a new one. Make sure it's secured in place. It's all done. So, so now we're gonna put the filter in. valve is all the way released once you screw up back the housing with the filter in it the engine oil doesn't out so now you want to make sure that you put you push back this down the oil doesn't leak out when you're screwing it back so now we're just gonna put everything back remember when I was saying make sure this comes all the way down so it's all the way down so no oil should be able to leak out and then put the cap over it now it's time to get the oil in Oil is good. We're gonna move on to the windshield wiper bottle. Now it's time for the windshield washer fluid. So I already started unscrewing off camera, but just screw, but just take these screws out. And once you take these screws out and lift it off, then you, you see your air filter. This is the bad one. Get rid of that and then put the new one in. And then just do the same process. So all you're doing is just make sure it goes on. Just make sure it goes on clips in so make sure it goes on and clips in and locks into place and then just screw it down and that's it we just changed the air filter so now we have the oil changed air filter changed the windshield wiper fluids is in the bottle so we're good now so as you can see, it's a lot of mess. So I'll catch you the next day. So what's up guys, it's the next day. So we already got the oil changed, the air filter changed. So now we're just gonna start it and see what happens. So everything should be working good. The next issue that we ran into now. So it looks like the car is, the car starts and run. 
but the alternator it looks like it's not charging the battery so we just got to check out that and see how we can fix that problem so we saw that the car runs the battery is not charging so I guess we're having a fuse issue or alternator issue or maybe or a short somewhere. So we're just gonna check out all these uh, troubleshooting, get all the steps done and then see if we can fix this problem. But well, we're a couple steps closer to finish this finishing this project and troubleshooting to see what's happening. So I'll catch you in the next episode. Like, share, subscribe. Check us out on We Rebuilds on Instagram. We post a lot of sneak peeks before we put it on YouTube. Until the next time, stay positive, stay motivated.